live from the command center JW Solo USA um, we have a box here and we're gonna take a look at it it came from Midnight Solo Incorporated stay tuned for that let's see what's inside all right let's see There's a fancy box what is in there nice <clears throat> packed box here look what we have here a midnight solar perfect well organized look at this the ends We're right on the ends right here it's really cool how they um, just pack this stuff so remove one on the other corner right here and the other one from here really protect the device itself let's see what's in here all right let the box go away this is what we got a midnight solar mnpv6-250 solar combiner box this box can take up to a uh, six string of solar array okay so take a look inside and see how everything set up it's a brand new box for midnight solar guys this is what it is midnight solar incorporated we have a Philips here we're gonna take care of that knockout for conduit on the side another side here so right now you can see it says uh, the MNPV 4 1000 the MNPV 12 250 so I think you can you can see it's manufactured 2018, the first quarter. All right, let's take a look at it and see how everything goes right here from the channel of JW Solar USA. It's another new um, Midnight product adding to the family. This is for the uh, classic 200 and 250. Perfect for it. And uh, you need... Um, the MNEPV 300 volt breaker to work with the classic 200 and the classic 250. Stay tuned. Wow, it just dropped it. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Well, so far, so good. The device just proved itself that it's a tough device. It drops. There's nothing that's gonna break. But uh, it just it drops on the unboxing. I think that's just the way wants to do it so all right bring you close and see the diagrams here okay I'll let you figure it out yourself 20 amp 20 amp you can put about six modules into this so uh, three strings of threes in parallel them that's the that's the diagram right there so I hope um, you find this helpful if you're doing your install and this is gonna be really cool for you to follow as a guide okay so the box itself this is how it looks like if you're curious I know um, it's always nice to have these boxes uh, because it saves saves a lot of time and uh, instead of buying Y connectors and all that stuff, it, it, it's just, um, there's no safety on it. That's one of the things because of um, the wires that the Y connectors are made of is just uh, some of them are 12 gauge. So there's some stickers here. Okay. What happened to the stickers? Yeah. Okay, I think they took one of that big one, the sticker, and they put it up here. 
think that's what he did and remove one of these so that's a six you can see um, the breakers position okay and midnight's um, you know makes some good stuff so let's go ahead and check this one out and see what's inside well according to the diagram here they want you to remove the uh, the cover see that to remove the cover so that you can prime this one up with a, a Phillips or flat and pop this thin guy out see that this plate is cut out and uh, set it on the side and pop this thing right here so this is where the breaker goes so if you're using the um, if you're using uh, the breakers the MN MN EPV 300 it only takes three of them because they have two in one breaker okay like a double pull double throw double throw or double pull sorry breaker so this is what it is inside comes with a big shunt for negative okay and uh there are some the uh the plates the bus bar terminal that's supposed to get into the breakers it's like fingers like this it's sticking to it and uh, you can see from here there's another bus bar here for the uh, equipment ground terminals so all your equipment grounds comes here all the negative terminals from PV comes here this look like number six number two sorry number two yeah, one, two, three, four of number twos, and they can be able to use the little ones for even charge control or whatever devices. Maybe Wisbank Jr., Shunt, all that kind of good stuff. So the breaker sits right here. You hook up to here, anchor right here. So we have a sticker here. And uh, if you can read inside here, it tells you it takes number 10. It takes number 10, number 8 number six to number four here and even gives you how many pounds 35 pounds torque if you have a torque wrench so all the pv wire is going to be coming from here the breakers underneath so input pv that goes underneath the breakers the out comes out to this speed okay the breaker terminal it's a big one so um, it has the art a bolt something uh, terminal where the wire comes out from that speed I will show you on my next video don't want this video to be long but this is how it looks like and uh, guys if you have any questions feel free to drop them on the comment below and um, I'm gonna be doing a second a part two of these when um, I received the breakers so I'm having um, 300 volts breakers coming in for this box stay tuned for that and love you guys all subscribe and share it's really light box you know aluminum is made for outside waterproof and this is how we're gonna end the video right now and I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next on the next video when uh, I receive the breakers I'm gonna do a demonstration or illustrate how the breakers work and with all this speed here inside a box okay all right take care bye for now